In this problem, we want to find the inverse of the function. So we got f of x is equal to x squared minus 2, and x is greater than or equal to 0. Step 1. Replace f of x with y. So we got y is equal to x squared minus 2. Step 2. Interchange x and y. So this becomes x is equal to y squared minus 2. Step 3 is to solve for y. So I take negative 2 over. We get x plus 2 is equal to y squared. Now this is square root property. Square root property says if you got something squared equal to something else, you drop your squared and put a plus or minus square root around the other side. So we got plus or minus square root of x plus 2 is equal to y. Step 4, replace y with your inverse notation. So we got the inverse of f is equal to plus or minus square root of x plus 2. Now in this particular one, we have to do step 5, because we can't have the plus or minus symbol. Uh, it's not 1 to 1. Well, let's look at uh, our original graph. x squared minus 2. Well, x squared is that parabola, and minus 2 means it's shifted down to. So it would look like this right here. Now, when we say x is greater than or equal to 0, well, um, here's x is equal to 0. Greater than or equal to means I'm going to keep the right side of this. So that's our, that's our function. Now our inverse is going to be symmetric to the line y is equal to x, which is right here. And um, this starts at um, negative 2 on our y-axis. So our inverse is going to start at negative 2 on our x-axis. And if I were to take this piece and flip it across this line, and take this piece flip it across this line, what we'd see looks something like that, more or less. Um, anyway, that's our inverse. It should go up a little bit. Now, if I look at what I came up with, y equals plus or minus this, y equals. Look at uh, my blue graph here, my inverse. What are my y values there? Are they positive or are they negative? They're positive, aren't they? Which means we want to keep the positive version of this. So we're going to drop the negative version, just keep a positive square root of x plus 2. Now that just made it 1 to 1. They'll put something additional on here. They'll say x is greater than or equal to negative 2. That's to specify the domain. That has nothing to do with making it 1 to 1. And that's our answer.